Greetings fellow zombie slayers, Sleepy Jim here with an achievement guide for the new zombies map, Moon. And what we're looking at here is the major easter egg in this map, and believe me, it is epic. So it's well worth doing, especially if you're a long time zombies fan. So in the first video of this two part series, we'll be looking at the cryogenic slumber party achievement for a 75 gamer score, and a special gamer picture that you unlock as well. And in the second part, we'll be looking at the Big Bang Theory later. So first to kick off the cryogenic slumber party achievement, what you need to do is turn the power on. So we turn the power on here, and then what you want to do is head up to the spawn area for the next part of this easter egg. Now when you do get uh, outside to the spawn area, just below the spawn area, on the uh, level ground area near the cliff, you will find four computer terminals and these uh, flash uh, different colors so what you need to do it's kind of a mini game and uh, it's called Samantha Says what you need to do here is match the colors in the correct order as they flash and just simply repeat the pattern to uh, move on to the next step of the Easter egg so let's watch as we do that here Nice easy one. I'm lagging a little, so it's a little bit slow. Red. Holy shit, it's taken ages. Oh, fair enough. System file access. Red, yellow. Doing it, Jim. Nice. They want the crawl again. Okay, just wait till we get there before yeah. we hack those computers. Okay, so what we need to do now is head to the laboratory area, and there are three levels to this laboratory. Find the hacker device, which we've just grabbed there off the top of one of those white desk areas. Then head to the middle floor of the laboratory, and you need to hack with the hacking device one of these four computer terminals. That will cost you 500 points. Now, as soon as you do that, you have 60 seconds to locate four of these little terminal things with the green light on the top. Now, an easy way to do that is have your friends, one on each level, uh, find them for you as you do the first one, just to make it quicker and easier. You can also find them pretty easily by listening for the buzzing noise that they make. Now, I'm coming upstairs. We'll get this one in the red area. We got the white Okay, I'm coming downstairs now. Oh, there's another one over here. There's another one upstairs. Yeah. That's the last one then. I thought it was downstairs. That's it then, now we just press the buttons. Okay, so as you can uh, hear there in the commentary, basically the next step after you do that is to head down to the uh, four terminals on the wall. And you need to press the buttons. Within about uh, two seconds, uh, you need to press all four buttons. You can do this solo, by the way, this uh, first uh, achievement. Uh, but it's much easier if you do it with four players. Three, three, two, one, press. Sweet. So... Uh, okay, now at some point here you're going to want to find six. the wire. It does look a little bit like a tube or a pipe, uh, yeah, and it's usually uh, around this down area down in the laboratory, but it can also be out uh, near uh, the AK-74U uh, so uh, area, if you know does, where I mean, uh, which is just outside the moon base, near the crates, just as you come out of the entrance, it's sometimes there as well. So I find it just here, and pick it up for use later in the Easter egg. Some of these steps you can do out of order, just by the way, they don't necessarily need to be in this exact order that we do them in this example. Now the next thing that needs to happen is you need to have one of the excavators breach tunnel 6. So there is no real way of knowing when that will happen, it is a little bit random, and uh, hopefully you need to get it early to make this as easy as possible. Once that happens, uh, allow it to breach Tunnel 6 and then you need to head up to the spawn area and uh, hack the terminal yeah, no, so that uh, <laughs> it retracts the excavator the, uh, machine. Once you've done that, you need to head back down to Tunnel 6 and you will locate the 
focusing stone from Shangri-La down there. So we'll see that in a moment. I should probably have tea, what's the time? Fucking 8.30 and I haven't had tea yet. Okay, so just here oh, near the M16 you'll it. find the focusing stone, uh, which uh, apparently Rick Tofen lost and we just found find it again in this map. And what you need to do is basically knife that focusing stone and follow it as it moves through the tunnel areas. It always goes the same route, so uh, as long as you keep your eye on it, you'll usually be pretty right. Just be careful because it's at uh, some points as it goes through here and uh, a bit later on as well, it will stop at certain points where if you haven't been watching where it's gone, you may lose it. Now where it gets stuck, you might need to shoot it as well just to keep it moving like this. Mitch, was that the screaming song? I didn't hear a scream. There it is. Now, at this stage, where that focusing stone, uh, which the characters okay, refer to as an egg at times, uh, ends up is right on the tip of this little radar dish uh, above the exit from the spawn area. So, what you need to do is shoot that down with the wave gun. It needs to be the wave gun, wave gun and uh, not the zap gun, the dual wield version of that uh, new wonder weapon. Once you've done that, the focusing stone will come down here to the other end of the spawn area. And if you open up the doors, it will uh, head down through here, uh, through the stamina up area. So just keep following it. We'll get stuck here and there. So just uh, watch where it gets stuck in this video, uh, because it can be easy to lose it in this part of, uh, of where it travels. Uh, there is one spot in particular, particularly because it's such a dark map that uh, you can uh, lose sight of it. And it just goes up here in the corner, just up there, and you need to shoot it to keep it moving uh, from that part of the map. It then ends up uh, down here and it will stop on top of the barrels. So you're just keeping it moving and it will uh, end up basically down near the pyramid. As if that does not sound like a transformer. Nice. Okay, so eventually this uh, focusing stone will end up embedding itself in this round circle device uh, below the pyramid and you'll notice a transparent tube rises from the corner of the pyramid structure. So at this point what you need to do is basically kill 25 zombies right next to that tube and what happens is it fills with zombie souls and that is the next step in the easter egg. So you'll see us doing that here. We'll just do it old school and camp it out here. Has everyone got and decent then, weapons? Um, yeah, it's someone, someone watch the other side and that'll shoot the floor. Yeah, but watch it. Don't, don't stand over there. Just stand here and watch it from here because th they'll all come from this direction now. And only kill them when they're right next to the thing. <coughs> yeah, as long as someone watches that side as well so they don't come up behind us. Here they come. They're coming down the stairs. So maybe Slippery and Danny should watch that and me and Mitch watch here because we got the, the power weapon. Oh, I, I don't know. I can do it with the ray gun easy. Wish I had speed call. That's nice. Perfect. This is cruising through it, man. Okay, so you can see that the tube slowly fills with the uh, blue, pale blue, um, looks like liquid, but uh, apparently that's what zombie souls look like. Now when that is full, you will hear a uh, faint uh, musical cue from the pyramid structure. And uh, basically at that point, what you need to do is turn on the switch. Just to the left of the stairs that we're looking at now, there is a switch similar to the power switch. Hang on, I'm 
And so, the moment we've all been waiting right. for, right, yeah, it, we uh, hit the switch here, and the pyramid folds right, open. Uh, turns out to be some kind of crazy space tomb, and we finally get to see Samantha Maxis. And there she is. Everyone gets a death machine, similar to the uh, Ascension Easter egg. It lasts about the same amount of time as well. So we've uh, done it here in this example of uh, the Easter egg, uh, so that we got the uh, last crawler killed just before we hit the switch. And that way you can uh, basically beast mode through the next round of zombies uh, with everyone having a uh, death machine. And that's what you see here. And guys, I don't know what you think of uh, of Samantha uh, there, but uh, she doesn't look quite like I expected. I expected awesome blonde hair for some reason. I See, expected uh, super scary features, perhaps similar to the Hellhound, something like that. Uh, but in fact, she just looks like a normal retro-looking girl from uh, the 40s or 50s or whatever. Hey, Jason Kay! <laughs> Jason Kay's joined us! <laughs> you see that? He did. He did. Um, he did join the uh, party after all. I get them slightly hungry. Okay, so that is the cryogenic slumber party oh, achievement for you, unlocked with the 75 gamer score and the uh, gamer picture as well. Uh, please rate, comment, and like this video if you enjoyed it. And uh, what we'll do is move on to the second part of this video series for the Big Bang Theory and the huge climax to this Easter egg.